for these women, we noticed that women with frontal lobe epilepsy um, tend to have a dramatic increase in their seizure frequency. So we wanted to to verify um, more thoroughly whether this is true or just uh, a random observation in clinic. Um, since 2013, um, we have a clinical Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft Access uh, database that gathers information on uh, all pregnant women with epilepsy seen um, at Brigham and Women's Hospital, both in the epilepsy and in the epilepsy and obstruct obstetrics clinic. Um, so this data has been gathered prospectively and we have information on their medications, their seizure frequency, um, and similarly we follow them in clinic and document that uh, in their chart. So this um, analysis was done by using this uh, clinical database that we have and cor corroborating it with the information available in the patient's chart. Um, since 2013 until 2018, uh, we have tracked uh, over 100 pregnancies, more precisely 114 pregnancies. Among these pregnancies, um, we noticed that, as it has been reported previously in the literature, um, patients with focal epilepsy are doing worse compared to patients with generalized epilepsy. So that was not a new finding. Um, but prior um, publications have not looked at the localization of the seizure onset zone to see whether that was important um, in further stratifying this risk of seizure worsening during pregnancy. Um, we showed that uh, within um, our patient populations, the uh, women with focal uh, epilepsies have a higher risk, but also women with frontal uh, lobe epilepsy have a significantly higher risk even within the focal epilepsy group uh, and with an odds ratio um, of eight, which was uh, statistically significant. Uh, we also noticed that uh, women on um, polytherapy had a similar odds ratio um, of eight for an increase in their seizure frequency during pregnancy. But even when correcting for polytherapy, women with focal epilepsy and women with frontal lobe epilepsy were uh, doing significantly worse. Um, the postpartum data was not that different between these women. It, we don't seem to have met the, the statistical significance there. Um, but there was a difference uh, when looking at the ratio of women who experienced uh, uh, an increase in seizure frequency postpartum within the generalized epilepsy group compared to the focal group, uh, where the women with generalized epilepsy had an increase uh, in that um, percentage uh, of women who experienced seizure frequency worsening postpartum compared to the focal epilepsy group where there was a decrease. Overall, the percentage of women experiencing seizure, seizure worsening postpartum was still higher within the focal group, but the trend was definitely different postpartum uh, for the two categories. Um, another thought um, was to look uh, into the therapeutic dose monitoring, because our work has previously shown that uh, ratio to target um, threshold of 65% uh, is significant for seizure worsening. And I should pause and say that when I'm saying ratio to target concentration, I'm referring to the concentration of the anti-epileptic medication uh, in the patient's serum at a certain time in pregnancy compared to a preconception baseline. So we obtained this uh, ratio to target concentrations for all patients with seizure worsening, and we showed that the, fo the frontal um, focal epilepsy group with seizure worsening had adequate adjustments um, in their um, uh, AED therapy, and their ratios were frequently higher than other um, women with uh, focal epilepsy within that group. So despite adequate dose adjustments during pregnancy, uh, these women have an increase in their seizure frequency. We don't quite know why this is the case, why women with frontal lobe epilepsy uh, experience a, a worsening, are more likely to experience a worsening of 
uh, their seizure frequency during pregnancy. So I think these women need to be uh, more carefully monitored clinically during pregnancy. Uh, what we noticed is that um, in a bunch of these women, we had to escalate not only the um, initial medication that they were on, the dose for the initial medication they were on, but also add other uh, therapeutic methods. Uh, one of our patients even got uh, TMS uh, uh, during pregnancy in, with hope of uh, getting her seizures under control.